Hello and welcome back to the Loco Files. In today's episode we'll be looking at the Hawksworth Counties. The Great Western Railway 1000 class or counties were a class of 460 steam locomotive. 30 examples were built between 1945 and 1947 but all were withdrawn and scrapped in the early 1960s. No examples were preserved, but a replica locomotive is under construction at the Didcot Railway Centre. These locomotives were the final development of the two-cylinder Saint class, introduced in 1901, and included several features that had already been used on the successful modified hall class. The final chief mechanical engineer of the Great Western, Frederick W. Hawksworth, had hoped to design a new 462 Pacific Express locomotive for post-war traffic when he took up office in 1941, but had been prevented by the war from doing so. This scheme was not entirely dead in 1945, when he was given the authority to build another batch of mixed traffic 460s. Rather than build more examples of existing designs, Hawksworth introduced the County Class as a testbed for a number of ideas he hoped to incorporate into the Pacific at a later date. Unfortunately, Hawksworth was subsequently not allowed to build his Pacific as there was no need for further express passenger locomotives. In addition to the innovations already adopted for the modified hall class, the new class contained several further changes from the usual Great Western practice, including the use of double chimneys on certain members and a high boiler pressure of 280 pounds per square inch. Although this was later lowered to 250 psi in an attempt to reduce maintenance costs. The boiler was a development that used the tooling for the LMS Stanier Class 8F boiler. Hawksworth was able to study this design closely when the 8Fs were being built at Swindon as part of the war effort. The class initially had a tractive effort of £32,580, which was roughly £1,000 greater than the Castle class, although the tractive effort was reduced to £29,090 when the boiler pressure was reduced. The class had continuous splashes over the driving wheels and, when named, straight nameplates making them immediately recognisable from the other Great Western 460s. They were also fitted with Hawksworth's 4,000 gallon slab sided tender, but the county tenders had a water tank 6 inches wider than the tenders built for the modified halls, and were retrofitted to many earlier designs. There was talk of them at one point having outside wall shards valve gear, which could have been a major break from traditional Great Western designs. In the event, the favoured inside Stevenson link motion of the Great Western was used. However, the Great Western Railway 1500 class, also designed by Hawksworth, used outside wall shards valve gear the only standard gauge locomotive designed by the Great Western to do so. The first batch of 20 were built at Swindon Works and delivered between August 1945 and March 1946. They were originally unnamed and were planned to be numbered in the 9900 series, but this was changed to the 1000 series before introduction. A second batch of 10 further locomotives, numbering 1020 to 1029, were built between April 1946 and April 1947. The second batch were given 
the names of English and Welsh counties previously used on the Great Western Railway 3800 class of 440 tender locomotive that were part of George Jackson Churchwood's locomotive standardization program in the early days of the 20th century. The counties had a mixed reception. Some traditionalists regarded them as non-standard, expensive and unnecessary. Others though considered them to be a successful and free steaming design, well suited to express or freight work and a fitting finale to the Great Western Railway two-cylinder 460 development. According to O.S. Nock, their best and really brilliant work was done north of Wolverhampton, where they ran very heavy trains with conspicuous success. After the nationalisation of Britain's railways in 1948, all 30 counties continued to do useful work throughout the western region of British railways working with the castles on expresses to and from Paddington, as well as the more menial freight and parcel duties. BR gave the counties the power classification 6MT. Speedometers were fitted to the class from 1950, and the modified double chimney locos from 1956. Withdrawals of the class took place between September 1962 and November 1964 and none of the original locomotives survived with a number of them meeting their fate away from western region metals with five being scrapped in Sheffield and two scrapped in Norwich. However again as I mentioned earlier a replica is being built at the Didcot Railway Centre, home to the Great Western Society. When completed, it will take the name and number of number 1014, County of Glamorgan, in recognition of the late Di Woodham's Barry Scrapyard in Glamorganshire, from which many withdrawn steam locomotives were saved for preservation. Also, Glamorganshire County Council donated the frames and boiler to the project. The replica is based around the frames of modified Hall Class 7927 Wellington Hall and the boiler from LMS Stania 8F 48518. The boiler from the hall will be used in the replica Grange project at the Clungoflin Railway. It will also have a number of smaller original parts of scrapped county locomotives including the chimney from 1006 County of Cornwall. Although when it's finished is going to be up in the air, it's planned to have a double chimney and will be painted in BR Brunswick Green. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, fling a like this way. Feel free to comment down below, and if you really liked it and want to see what happens next and what I talk about next, feel free to subscribe. Also, special thanks to Thomas Dibden of Dark DJ Productions for continuing to edit the videos for this series. Thank you, and goodbye.